Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my completion review of this diamond painting I got from AliExpress. This was actually my DP Advent 2020 um, submission, I guess. So right now, since I did take a picture of all my squares, I will put in the lovely, what do you call that? Montage here. Okay, so now you have seen the whole completion of it. So this diamond painting is, I called it Raccoon Hidden in the su um, Succulents. I got it from Who Can Alexa, I mean Alexa, Elena on AliExpress. It was actually a freebie that I won, so I paid one cent for it. Um, it's a 30 by 40, but it was actually 29.5 by 38.5. It was a double-sided adhesive. Um, there was 35 colors with DMC, and these were squares. Um, okay, I did say this was part of my ad DP Advent 2020, but I tried to do just one square a day. So if you see my first five days, I did actually do one square a day. And then I got sick of putting it away and putting it back and putting it away. So then I stopped for a while, and then I kind of binged and did a couple squares for two days and then I did a cup like a square or something another day and then <clears throat> I just went and finished it on a couple another day so I only did 10 I, I only took 10 days to do this um yeah I yeah I don't think I liked doing one tiny square a day it might have worked out if it was a bigger painting but yeah and also I really did not like doing the random square a day I didn't have that sense of accomplishment of completing like a percentage of my diamond paintings. So doing a square here, there, and there, and there. Yeah, even though I was completing the same amount, it just, I just didn't feel like I was completing the same amount. So I need that sense of accomplishment where like I finished half, I finished two thirds, I don't know. But yeah. Um, so other than that, I've done many diamond paintings from Who Can. So didn't really have any issues. What did I say? V and Y were confusing and R and H were confusing. So let's see. So this is actually my, how my journal looks like. Um, completed. I do have the thumbnail of the original image from the website. And then I take a picture of my completed thing and I print it and I put it in here. So this is actually the picture of my diamond painting. And then I also have been just I did this recently where I've been keeping the key on the off chance that I ever go look back to it again and I notice something is missing I could still go back to my journal and find it so yeah what did I say v and y were confusing so here they are um they were mainly because they were the same color and if you look at really quickly you kind of yeah when you kind of look at it quickly, you're just like looking at it and like R and H, R and H look very similar already. And they were both a red color, if you see here. Um, so yeah, I'm like, why do they have to be the same color? But yeah, here it is, the final product. I actually think it turned out pretty good um, considering it was a 30 by 40. Um, you could tell exactly what it is. Um, I had zero problems doing this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think, like I said, I think it turned out great. I've already rolled this. This has been sitting under another diamond painting, so I'm hoping it's all in there. So, yeah, I had plenty of drills left. I, um, if you watch my kidding up video, I just left them in the baggies, so I have plenty of drills left. Um, yeah. And since I was doing just a little square at a time, I didn't end up looking for my drills. I just went, I just started from number one and, and I just kept going. And since the squares were small, that just worked out for me. So, yeah. 
I think it looks great for 30 by 40. Um, I loved the colors on this one. I just didn't like the whole process of doing the tiny squares because it's, yeah, it was kind of driving me crazy. So I don't think I'm going to do that again, unless the squares were sequentially in order. Okay. So yeah, so now I'm just going to, since I have no plans of framing this anywhere, it's just going to go in my art portfolio. So I'm going to do my final touches for my art portfolio now. So I do, I have rolled this already. So right now I am just I'm using this brush I got from the Dollar Tree. It, it's probably some sort of bathroom cleaning brush. And I'm just brushing this, one, to get out any excess... Um, what do you call that? Wax that might be on the drills. And this is also, ooh, see, I lost the drill. This is also my process to see if any of the drills are, what's it called, loosely in there, even though I have rolled this. So now I just have to find where these two drills came from. Also, I see this corner one. Let's see, corner. Oh, and right there corner and the A. So let's see. Do I have a pen here? Of course not. So where was that A? A. There was an A here. I'm guessing that's the blue one. It makes sense. This is the blue one. So just gonna put that back in there and then this corner piece that's an R so I don't think I must be missing another one the R is a red one oh it's this X I'm missing so yeah they just probably see that's another thing when you're do when you're not doing it sequentially like I don't know. I don't I don't know if the stuff fits well. So I'm missing that R. So where's R? See, this is why let's see, R is 12. Um, I don't like diamond painting. Um, what's it called? Using the key. And I, you kind of had to diamond paint using the key when you have them like this. So I yeah, I as much as it's convenient that it's already in baggies. I probably will kit up more things in baggies in the future just because I use my my diamond painting kits as my my key because I really hate looking like at the key and then look looking for it again. So and I would have put these in alphabetical order just to find it more. So yeah. Okay. Well, See, this is why I've been photocopying the key on the off chance that you end up looking at it and you're like, oh, there's something missing. Okay, so now I'm just going to just cut the borders out so I can put it in my art portfolio because like I said, I have no plans right now to frame this. I might in the future. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. But I, I have way too many diamond paintings that... I can't frame them all. I mean, th I did say this was, I don't know if you saw, but this is my 48th completion. And yeah, so <laughs> I actually do a lot of diamond paintings. Um, and I just started diamond painting in 2020. So that is 48 that I have done in 2020. So you won't see this video till, yeah, no, you'll see this in 2020. I'm on a, what's it called? I, I have a buffer of when I post my videos just because I think I'll go crazy if I try to post my videos immediately um, and it allows a chance for me to actually have a more, what do you call that, regular posting because, you know, I work full time. I don't know when I'm going to finish these diamond paintings and sometimes I get sick of a diamond painting and then I'll end up working on another one. So. A completion video might not show up until a lot later than when I put up the kidding up video because I end up finishing something else first yeah so the the buffer allows me to 
have consistent posting of videos while also still being able to finish the diamond paintings. So on how I want to finish them, I don't want to just end up like finishing a diamond painting because I have to put something up. I I want to be able to stop a po um a, what's that called? Stop a diamond painting because I want to work on a different thing. Cause I I sometimes have a couple diamond paintings kitted up at once. Well, I do have a couple diamond paintings kitting up kitted up at once. And sometimes if I get sick of one, I just go to another one. Or if I don't feel like doing one, I just go to another one. So yeah. So let's see. Art portfolio. Just gonna put it in here. Um, I normally would put it on a black backing, but since this is um, actually a 30 by 40, well, slightly smaller, it's just gonna go into my art portfolio um, without the black backing. So, there you go, if I could get it in, oh wait, that's why I can't get it in, I was putting it in the wrong one, yeah, I see, <laughs> yeah, the clear pages tricked me, okay, it's like when you slam into the sliding glass door because you think it's open but it's actually closed, okay. That's more information than, of my klutziness than you needed to know. Okay. There you go. And hey, the purple background from the painting that I had is behind it. See? It's our dolls. Obviously, I haven't done that many of 30 by 40s. But yeah. Here you go. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye!